For me, the stonefish has been the most elusive animal that I've ever tried to catch. I'm talking hundreds of attempts to find absolutely nothing. And it started to feel like I wasn't meant to find this animal for a reason. The pain I've never experienced since. It's, it's like nothing I've ever experienced. Because I knew that if I found it, I was going to pick it up. And I also knew that it was the deadliest and the most venomous fish in the world. Here in Australia, we call it the landmine of the sea. So this right here is going to be my biggest attempt at trying to catch a saltwater stonefish yet. And I thought my best opportunity to find the area where I think these stonefish might be hiding is to meet up with someone who's had a deadly encounter with one before in a way that you do not want to meet these stonefish. So I'm going to go talk to a bloke now who's actually encountered one of these stonefish and got stung by one in the wild. Well thanks for jumping on the interview brother. Um, so I hear you've had a pretty scary encounter when it comes to stonefish. Yeah mate, they're not my best friends I can tell you. <laughs> mate, uh, I was up in Calander, um, just down at the beach there, I took my took my shoes off like us old people do. We just, you know, we don't go swimming anymore. We don't go running on the beach or chasing dogs or any of those sorts of things. And I walked this with a bit of a stony area. And, uh, I was I was just walking on my own. Um, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything at all. Just saw some stones in the water. Um, the next minute, I, I, I put my foot, my, my right foot down, and just went. And the pain was excruciating. It's like just that one, two, three. How's your father? It was like bang. It was. A pain I've never experienced since. It's it's like nothing I've ever experienced. Went off to the hospital and put me on a drip. Um, apparently they can kill you. I was, I was very lucky. But uh, when you get that pain though, it means you just wish you were dead. So where exactly was the stonefish when you found it? Like what part of the beach? Well, there's a, a little rock pool just at the end of Kings Beach. Yeah, you know where all the people swim? Yeah, yeah. Well, like Mr. used to scuba dive there. Everyone used to do that. Um, yeah, right. Right next to where people hang out. And you think that the world's deadliest fish sitting right there. Right and there's right kids there. that go on those rock pools. Right, they wouldn't, the kid wouldn't survive it. The kid would not survive that. The pain is just excruciation. <laughs> well, to say that interview made me a little bit more nervous to catch one of these stonefish is definitely an understatement. But the species of stonefish he was talking about is a saltwater estuary stonefish. Now, a few months ago, I actually tracked down a freshwater stonefish, more commonly known as a bull rout, in a creek system not too far from my house. And that right there is a little bull rout. Take a look at that, picking them up. You see all those spikes across the top there? That is something that you definitely don't want to be done by. These guys are just sitting in these creeks here in southeast Queensland, New South Wales, all across the east coast of Australia. And that is a landmine that you do not want to walk on. If I was to get stung by this fish right now, I would be in a world of pain. I'd have to rush to the hospital. Compared to the saltwater stonefish, this venom isn't as bad. But this is a good warm up for next time. I'm definitely going to be going out looking for the saltwater stonefish, catching it with my hands and holding it. But here's the thing, a sting from a bull rout is absolutely nothing compared to the sting of a saltwater stonefish, which is what I'm trying to track down. I've found a saltwater stonefish before in one previous video. It was very small, just a juvenile, but still crazy because we caught it in a cast net and it looked identical to a rock and that is the reason why they're so dangerous. With all this new given knowledge about where I can actually locate these stonefish, I decided to head down to the Caloundra Rock Pools the following morning to attempt to track one down. I was in the police force and working one night and there's someone found up to say that there's an illegal fishing net in the Mary River. We started pulling the net in and as I was pulling it in, with a stonefish stuck in the thing, and I didn't see it, it was dark time, and it stung me on my hand. Oh, the pain. We had to drop the net there and then it rushed me to the hospital, and that was it. So they rushed me up because I couldn't stand the pain even then, just after it happened. It's like you see on TV, you know, so these documentaries of getting stung by whatever, and the people sort of making out there like they're so bad. It, it, it was bad, mate. Like, I couldn't handle the pain. And I'm not a person that worries about pain. But it just drove me like crazy. It mental in the head and everything. So you've been a beekeeper your whole life as well. What's the difference between getting stung by a bee and getting stung by a stonefish? There's nothing. It, uh, I've rated one out of a hundred bee sting, probably two out of a hundred. But this thing, you couldn't do anything. You couldn't work. You couldn't even think. You couldn't do anything. It just... Like I said, 99.9 .9 out of 100 the pain was. 
something's trying to give me a reason to not try catch a stonefish. That was definitely it. That's a lot of pain. Let's go looking for one and hopefully pick one up tomorrow. See you guys then. So it's actually day two at the moment and we're out here in Caloundra and we're looking for stonefish again. Now, I needed a bit of help with this one. I've gone out looking for stonefish 50 plus times over the past couple months and I really want to find one. So what I decided to do is make a post on my Instagram and asking all of you guys where you have caught stonefish before. I got hundreds of DMs back and you've all led me to these rock pools right here. A lot of people have said they've seen them or they've actually caught them in these rock pools. So I'm going to be walking throughout here throughout the next couple hours, hopefully finding a stonefish. I don't care how big it is, I just want to find one. I've been looking for one for so long. So I say we get into it, search a couple of these rock pools, maybe even go for a swim. Hopefully we can find a big stonefish and get it up close to the camera. So the amazing thing about these rock pools is it creates life for so many species and what will happen is as the tide comes up, the water and all the fish, different species will get pushed into these rock pools and as the tide proceeds, they'll get stuck in here, trapped until the next high tide. So that's pretty much what we're looking for today. I've been coming here for years, we're in between Kings Beach and Happy Valley at the moment, just the rock pools in between. And since I was young, I've seen blue ringed octopus, heaps of different species of sea snakes and even stonefish. So we're just going to keep walking through these rock pools. The tide's going out at the moment. Hopefully we can find a few species that we can get up close in front of the camera. Oh my goodness! Look, I found a massive one, an actual stonefish, and it's huge. Oh my God, look at it. That is massive. That is the biggest stonefish I've ever seen. No way. That is massive. Look at that compared to my hand. No wonder so many people step on that. Yeah, I know. That is actually crazy. There's been countless stings up this beach right here, and no wonder. This is a rock pool that like kids swim in and stuff. Right, I say we I get him out on a rock. 100% wouldn't notice them. I nearly stood on him. My foot was right here. I was looking under there. Just pat him under there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's moving. Look at him. What? So he's just moving over this way at the moment. What I'm going to do is actually pick him up, get him out on a rock, and teach you a bit about him. Wow, look at that. All right, come on, buddy. And there we go. Oh my gosh. That Looks right so there. Out of water. That right there is a stonefish. Look at that. See these spikes at the top here? That is the biggest stonefish I have ever seen. Wow, take a look at that. That is absolutely massive. This is the ugliest fish we have here in Australia. And a matter of fact, it's also the most venomous. I do not want to get stung right now. This is considered the worst pain known to man. And that is why I am shaking. But what an awesome creature. All right, I say we get him out in the rock and teach you a bit about him. I don't want to pick him up for too long. Now, for anyone wondering if this fish is going to be okay out of the water, he is going to be totally fine. These stonefish often live in intertidal zones here on the east coast of Australia. And pretty much what will happen is the tide will go out and these stonefish have the ability to stay out of water for up to 24 hours at a time. So even when you're walking on the land in intertidal zones here on the east coast, you are not safe because these stonefish could be sitting there, spikes up, waiting for someone to come along and step on them. This is why so many people get stung. If I put it next to it, you're not looking for that in the water. You're thinking that's a rock straight up. 
and that is why these dorsal spikes will get you. As much of a bad reputation that these stonefish have, they're a very misunderstood fish. It's not their fault that they're the deadliest fish in the world. They're just trying to protect themselves. So if you catch a stonefish on the fishing rod or if you see one, don't try kill it. Obviously, if it's in a place like this, we're at Kings Beach right now. I'm gonna relocate it to a different place because you don't want someone to get stung. Now, having the name stonefish, what they use this for is to camouflage in with the rocks and they use this to hunt. Throughout this morning, we've seen a lot of little fish swimming around the rock pools and this guy just be sitting there waiting in camouflage for something to swim past, strike out at one hundredth of a second, get it in its mouth and swallow it whole. See these spikes up here that just went up then? These are the dorsal spikes. They have 13 dorsal spikes, and on each of those dorsal spikes, they have two venom sacs. That's 26 chances of going to the hospital. Is that what you get stuck on, or is there like a needle that comes out of them or something? This doesn't look sharp at all. How does that actually spike you? But it's not this cover, it's what's underneath. And I've got this little bit, I'm gonna reveal it to you, and maybe a bit of venom will even squirt out as well. We'll see. Ready? See that spike right there? So just to show you what it would do to your feet, you can see these spikes that have just been exposed right now. If you get this little cloth and put it over them, that's what's going into your foot. That's like a hypodermic needle that injects venom and just starts exploding stuff inside your body. So although we just milked this stonefish, you saw the venom come out then, what will happen is in a couple weeks time, after he has a big feed, that venom will actually rejuvenate and he'll be able to envenomate other things that try to attack him. Not like a bee. Not like a bee, were they? <laughs> <laughs> and now that we've showed you how dangerous this species is, I think I'm gonna pick it up again and get it up close to the camera. I gotta be very careful though. Being very cautious of these spikes, I can see how sharp they are now. We're just gonna bring him down here into the shallow water so that if I do drop him, he doesn't get hurt. Now this fish right here is the culprit for over a thousand stings a year here on the east coast of Australia. You haven't stopped smiling this whole time. Yeah, I'm so happy about that. I've been looking for one for like six months. I know, oh. and you've managed to just find the biggest one. The biggest one. In the one ever. <laughs> Such an actually wow. nice fish as well. It's a nice fish. Yeah. Well, it hasn't stung us yet. That yeah. makes it pretty lovely. <laughs> so, this right here is a very old stonefish. This is full grown and he'd be well over a decade old. Up this one stretch of beach right here, I've heard heaps of stories about people standing on stonefish and getting stung by them. Now, it's entirely possible that this guy, living in a place like this, in this rock pool, who knows how long he's been here, could have potentially stung someone and sent them to hospital. That's absolutely crazy. So if you ever do come across a stonefish in a place like this, let the lifeguards know and they'll like relocate it to a different area. But yeah, don't hate on them. It's not their fault that they're ugly and venomous, but I think he's pretty cute anyway. <laughs> The fins out are pretty great. Now they do have the ability to swim, but mostly, see these big fins right here? They'll use them to kind of walk across the floor so that they camouflage in and look a bit more like a rock. So how these stonefish will actually reproduce is what will happen is the female will lay some unfertilized eggs on the ground, the male will come find them, fertilize them, and in a couple months later, they will actually hatch. So we're gonna get them out of here. What an awesome species, the coolest experience ever. All these months of trying to find stonefish has finally paid off. Take a look at this big fella right here. Sorry buddy, sorry for annoying you. We're gonna release you in a different location so no one takes you. All right, and take a look at that right there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is one of the coolest videos I've ever filmed. So if you like this kind of stuff, I'll be posting new videos every Friday. So subscribe to the channel and check it out. That is an awesome creature right there. I'm gonna go relocate him to a different location so no one gets stung and he doesn't get hurt. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you again next Friday. Luckily, I have this Tupperware container in the back of my car and we're just going to go release them at another beach not too far from here. <laughs> oh. Just cruising.